Welcome back here 520. It is time for an all new DIY project. Now I will admit sometimes this step of the project takes me a while to get around to, but it really is that finishing touch that's going to make it look so professional. Caulking. Let's be grown ups here. Here are my best tips. I like to use the DAP fast drying white caulk made for molding windows and doors, but I would recommend to use their kitchen and bath caulk if it's an area that will have a lot of moisture. I already have an open tube of caulking and this is one great tip right here. They make these little seals in case you have an open tube and you want to store it in the garage. But if you're starting with a fresh tube on your caulking gun right here is the spout cutter. Did you know that? And my number one tip would be to cut small. Full disclosure, I did try to cut my opening a bit larger with that spout cutter. It takes a lot of hand strength. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. You can also try scissors too. There's no shame in that. But always cut it on an angle. I'm embarrassed to show you this, but it was my first time doing crown molding and I didn't do the best job, but it can be fixed with the caulking and there's a big gap here. This is the solution. It's called backer rod. They make backer rod in several different sizes depending on the size of gap you're filling. You just wedge it in that space and it gives the caulk something to grab onto. Okay, we're off and we're moving. Sure. Squeeze out a bead along the gap and remember this crucial step. Have a paper towel handy for things like that. And then this, look at, look at all this. The reason for this is because when you start to put pressure on the tube with the handle, you have to release the pressure. Otherwise, it's going to keep spewing out. And this is your best friend for that. You press this and it's going to stop putting pressure on the tube. You'll want to release that pressure every single time you finish a pass. Then time to smooth out that bead of caulk. Dip the finger in the water and drag your finger across, wiping the excess. You can also do this with a baby wipe. And use painter's tape to get a perfectly clean line of caulk on surfaces that are already painted. But make sure to pull the tape before it fully dries so it doesn't pull off that new line of caulk. Besides this stuff making your projects look finished and pretty, it can also help you winterize your home. Where there's gaps here in the window, the caulking has separated and you can feel the hot air or the cold air depending on the season coming through. This is going to seal it up. Done.